In fear of potential lost revenues, a group of unions and other groups are pooling resources to fight California's cannabis legalization initiative to be voted on this November. According to a report by Lee Fung from The Intercept, during the first four months of 2016, a group comprised of police, prison guard, hospital, and Teamster unions, dubbed Coalition for Responsible Drug Policies, raised about $70,000 in an effort to defeat the state's pot measure. Since the initiative would likely decrease arrests and incarcerations, the largest chunk of money raised in its opposition is from law enforcement groups. More specifically, the California Police Chiefs Association, the Riverside Sheriff's Association, the LA Police Protective League's Issues Pack, and the California Correctional Supervisors Organization have already raised $30,000 to fight the measure. Other donors include the California Teamsters Union, which gave $25,000, the California Hospital Association, which provided $5,000, and Sam Action, an anti-cannabis group, which contributed $10,000. According to Fung, this prohibitionist coalition is led by John Lovell, a longtime lobbyist for police chiefs and prison guards. In 2010, Lovell succeeded in defeating a similar measure to legalize cannabis in California, even though he was outspent by supporters of the initiative. This year, proponents of legalization have similarly raised a lot more money than anti-legalization forces. As of February, advocates have gathered more than $2.25 million in support of the Adult Use of Marijuana Act including a million from Napster co-founder Sean Parker and $500,000 from Weed Maps. Thankfully, recent polling in California indicates the measure could pass. According to a survey released in February, about 60% of Californians intend to vote to legalize cannabis this November. Because it's a presidential election year, the initiative could also benefit from increased voter turnout.